Hello there, everybody. Dan Calloway here again, uh, coming to you from the Linux Unix Text Channel. I uh, want to give a shout out to all of my subscribers. Appreciate all the support. Let me know what you like about my videos. I uh, really appreciate that. Okay, today uh, I'm in Arch Linux again, and uh, what I want to do is I want to show you uh, a couple of applications that I have set up to uh, allow me to program uh, in uh, one of my favorite programming languages, PHP. And um, PHP is a language that I learned uh, several years ago in conjunction with HTML, which is hypertext uh, markup language. And um, PHP, by the way, is a, a circular or cyclical name. It, PHP stands for PHP Hypertext Preprocessor. It's a server-side scripting uh, programming language uh, and allows you to create what I'm doing here today and that I'm going to show you, which is a web-based application. Okay. Um, what I'm going to be able to do here is show you that I can launch a local Apache web server, uh, go up on the web locally, and um, pull up an HTML page that is uh, prompting the user for input. And when the user puts the input in and presses the, uh, the, the submit button, it can be a different name, but it's the submit button. Uh, then what happens is it, it gets processed by PHP through Apache. Apache basically just hands off the package, um, the file to PHP, and then it spits back an active on the fly page that, with the results of the uh, the operation. Okay, so let me go, go ahead and show you what it looks like. First of all, let's look at the code. I'm in my Sublime Text 2 uh, code editor, and I've got two files here that I created. Um, and this was back in uh, 2015 that I did this. One of the um, files is called fuelcost.html. The other one is called fuelcost.php. Now, uh, for the name of the file, you may not be able to see it. Hopefully you can. I'm using what's called camelback notation. The first uh, letter of the first word, if the... Uh, file has more than one word in its name. The first letter is lowercase and then the second uh, word has its first letter uppercase and each subsequent word is an uppercase letter beginning that word and then they're shoved together. So fuel cost is a little fuel, little f-u-e-l, capital C-o-s-t-s. Just want to make you aware of that. I like that type of notation because it makes uh, working with files, especially in Linux, a lot easier. Okay. So here's the HTML file, and so a typical HTML file has an HTML tag. It has a head tag, which provides the information for things like the title, and this is the title tag in HTML. If you're familiar at all with HTML, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you're not, you need to go learn, and that you can do that by going to w3schools.com. That's w3schools, S-C-H-O-O-L-S.com and uh, click on the HTML link or search for it and there's a tutorial on HTML. It'll get you up to speed real fast. Okay, so fuel cost is the title. And then I have a link here, uh, which is a relative link to a style sheet. And um, that style sheet I don't have showing here, but I can bring it, bring it up if I want to. So the link relative is equal to style sheet in uh, double quotes, the type of uh, relative link it is is a text CSS, and then it's an H reference or a hypertext reference to a file in the same folder where fuel costs, PHP, and HTML reside, um, and that's called sample.css, okay, which controls the tags that you see here, uh, what they look like when they're displayed or rendered on the web. So here's the head portion, uh, and then here's the closing head tag, and then I have a body tag here, which is the body part. This is what you see on the web. This is what gets rendered. What you see here doesn't get rendered on the web in the head tag. It does get rendered, however, in the title of the address bar of the browser. So we have an H1 tag, uh, which is fuel cost calculator, and then we have a paragraph tag, a form action on that, which is fuelcost.php, and the method for the action is post. 
which means that in the form itself that we have on the form tag, um, the fuel cost.php file, which is this one right here, okay, um, the method that's used uh, to input information into that PHP file is what's called a post method, and I'll show you that in a moment. Then I have a table tag, so I've, I'm rendering a table here of nice display of output. Um, and the uh, output here shows a TR, which is a table a row, TD, which is table data. And so it's going to be make of car, and then it's going to be the type being text, size being 20, name being car make, model of car, which would be the next column. Um, and then input type is text, size 20, name is car model, etc., etc. So you can look at this video later and read the rest of this. I'm not going to read all of it. And then I close the table tag, closing the table. And then the input type here for a return link back to this page is, uh, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, the input type for the submit button, rather, is uh, the submit button. And that's the type. The value is tell me my fuel costs. And you'll see that be evident here in a moment. And then I close the form tag. Then I close the body tag. And then I close the entire HTML page itself. Okay. So that's what gets sent to the user initially for user input. Now, if I go over to the fuel costs.php file, all right, um, here is HTML tag head which is the title fuel cost calculator closing that tag and then link relative is a style sheet so I'm linking out to the same style sheet sample.css and then in the body here I start with an opening PHP tag which is that opening tag is a less than symbol dollar sign PHP and then the closing tag uh, is down here which is the dollar greater than symbol Okay, so everything in between here and here, in other words, lines 14 and 30 inclusive, uh, make up what's called the PHP code block. All right, and so here in the PHP code block, we have a variable, which is started with a dollar sign. All variables in PHP begin with a dollar sign. So the variable car make is a sign that's not equal. It's assigned, okay? Equal will be two equal signs. So this is dollar car make is assigned the post array, which is the dollar underscore POST in capital letters, bracket, and then car make in single quotes, which corresponds to the name in this file. So that is pointing to car make right here in this file. All right. All right, and we go back, and then I'll read the next one here. Um, the variable car model is assigned the post array of car model. Okay, and then each um, variable line here in PHP ends with a semicolon. Don't want to forget that. And so if you go back to the HTML file, uh, car model is here. So this is the name of this particular uh, input type here of size 20. Okay, called car model on the HTML form and we're looking at the PHP uh, file right here. So we go on down with a couple of more uh, variables and then we have some print statements. All right, Print statements are absolutely necessary here because uh, printing is an HTML action and if you uh, incorporate that inside the PHP code block then you're going to need to use the print function. And so here the print function is average fuel cost for your car is uh, the title and then a table we start a table here with a border size of one and then I create the table on the fly here with the next print statement um, which is miles traveled is one column fuel cost is the second column and then I have a for loop here okay um, which is a, a conditional so for and then inside the parentheses uh, which is the function for on the for loop it asks if the variable miles is equal to um, I mean I'm sorry the variable miles is assigned initially 10,000 which means it's that is uh, how it is originally set up 
And then the question is asked, uh, is the variable miles less than or equal to 100,000? All right. If uh, it is not, um, then it goes down and does the rest of this code block here in the for loop. But then um, it's also incremented. The variable miles is incremented by 10,000. So here's the incrementation assignment. Miles variable is assigned the previous value of the miles variable plus 10,000. And so then it drops down. It fails the first test here, drops down into the next line within these curly braces. And uh, the assignment is made here of the fuel cost variable is assigned the miles variable divided by the MPG variable, okay, times the variable cost per gallon. All right. Now this part gets executed first. So this is done first, okay, and then the multiplication takes place. And that is the uh, precedence of operation in mathematics. If this were in parentheses, then it would perform, uh, or if this were in parentheses here at the end, it would perform that operation before performing this one. But So you're going to take this variable, you're going to divide it by this variable, and then you're going to multiply by this variable in this particular expression. Then a print statement occurs in the loop here, uh, which is the building of the table, okay, on the fly. The miles variable <coughs> is is uh, called up and then that is concatenated with a uh, fuel cost variable to two decimal place accuracy under the uh, number underscore format function all right and, <clears throat> and then it loops back up again increments uh, miles by 10,000 so now the variable miles becomes 20,000 and then it runs this conditional uh, test again uh, is the miles variable less than or equal to 100,000 which it will be okay on the second loop and so it just continues the loop until after the last incrementation the miles variable becomes 100,000 in which case it will then uh, pass uh, it'll fail this particular test so the first time through and the first few times through it will uh, actually go through this um, as a uh, what's called a boolean of true okay and each time boolean is true it will continue to loop and then when boolean false is achieved which will be the last time uh, after the incrementation from 90,000 to 100,000 occurs this will fail in other words we get a boolean false it will jump out of this loop okay and then close the table and after it closes the table then the body of the uh, HTML uh, injected code, if you will, in the PHP file, it closes, and then the uh, HTML file itself within the injected PHP closes. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, this in action. This is a web-based application, as I said, and so um, let's get over to the file. Here it is. I've already pulled it up, so I don't, you, I won't spend any time doing that. Um, and basically here, as I've shown in previous videos, I uh, pulled up the Apache web server by running an alias I have called champ, X-A-M-P-P, -P, putting in my password. And then when I do that, it launches this particular interface here, which is the champ 7.3.1-0 interface. The Apache web server initially is stopped, and then I just press the start button to start it and uh, eventually it says it's running and when it's running then I know that I can access this page. Alright, so you notice that this is the address here, the address bar is localhost forward slash dashboard okay which is what I've told Apache web server to do go to the dashboard uh, and then what's under the dashboard is where you look for your files. Alright, that's controlled in the apache2.conf file all right, I'm not going to show you that. That's beyond the scope of this video today. But anyway, there the, here is the first file, which is fuelcost.html, and that is this is what is rendered here uh, when you have Apache pull up this web page right there that we created, that I created. Okay, so here it is. All right, so here's what you're presented with. This information on the screen. 
This is the fuel cost calculator. It's asking you for the year of your automobile. I'm going to put in a 20. I have a 2017. Uh, and then tab down to the next line. Make of automobile. I have a Fiat. The model of the automobile is a 500C, which is a 500 convertible. Okay. Uh, I know that the average miles per gallon that I'm getting here uh, on my Fiat is about 37.5 miles per gallon. So I'm going to put that in. And then the average cost of, uh, of a gallon of fuel in the United States to three decimal places. Last time I bought fuel, it was $2.23 and 9 tenths. Okay, so that's what I mean by the three decimal places. All fuel is expressed in the United States anyway as a regular dollar value and then 9 tenths of a cent. Why that is, I have no idea, but that's the way it is. So it's 2.23.9 is the cost of the fuel on average. Now, <clears throat> if I hit the clear and start over, which I will do to demonstrate, what will happen is it will just wipe out the data, okay, and I'll have to start over again. So let me do it again. 2017, and then make of automobile is a Fiat, and then the model of the automobile is a 500C, the average fuel miles per gallon is 37.5 I believe is what I said the, uh, and then the cost of fuel the last time that I bought it was 2.23.9 okay after I get all that information in what I'm going to do is click on this tell me my fuel costs and what will happen is um, PHP uh, Apache web server rather will take this file it will send it to the PHP hypertext preprocessor running on the uh, local system that I have here because I have a champ which is cross-platform Apache MariaDB or MariaDB PHP and Perl so it'll send it to, to the PHP side PHP will process the file and then it will send back a, a, an HTML injected page to me with the results okay of this particular query all right and so uh, I'm going to click on the tell me my fuel costs and then what gets sent back is a nice little tabular bit of information here which says the average fuel cost of your 2017 Fiat 500c automobile is as follows miles traveled in the first column fuel cost in the second column and so it's saying for 10,000 miles at the fuel economy that I gave it and the price of fuel that I gave it I'm going to spend roughly $597.07 in fuel. After 20,000 miles, I will have spent $1,194.13. And then after 100,000 miles, which is where it stops, remember that's where the loop ends, I will have spent a total, a grand total of $5,970.67. Now, that means from day one up to 100,000 miles, inclusive, not from just 90 to 100,000. All right, so this is a cumulative running total here. All right, so let's return back to the form. I've got a link here, which you saw in the HTML page. If I click on that, it takes me back to the form again. All right, and so let's do another car. So let's do a, a 1999 Honda Accord. Okay, and the average miles per gallon, let's say, is only like 23.5. And the average cost of fuel, let's go with the, what we had earlier, 223.9, okay? And so for the Honda Accord, if I click on Tell Me My Fuel Costs, you can see that the, the values are going to be much different here. Because of the lower gas mileage for the 1999 over the 2017 vehicle, which is much more fuel efficient, I'm going to be spending a lot more in fuel. So instead of 5000 some dollars, after 100,000 miles, it's going to be more like $9,527.66. Okay, so this is um, how to create a web based application in PHP and HTML. Uh, if you don't know PHP programming or want to learn PHP programming, you can also go to that website and I'll put a link in the, in the video down below to w3schools.com. You can uh, get free tutorials on PHP and free tutorials on hypertext markup language HTML which the current version by the way is version 5 um, 
and you can see here that it's it's extremely powerful what you can do okay and let me see if I can go back uh, one thing I forgot to do and that is to pull up the CSS page um, that I told you that I could pull up if I wanted to let me see if I can open that up there it is sample.css and let me uh, open that up and this is what a CSS or cascading style sheet looks like okay I created this um, what this does and since these files for instance uh, fuelcost.html it references this style sheet right here under the link relative style sheet type sample.css now I told you that this file sample.css controls all the elements here or most of the elements here um, that you see rendered on the web okay and here's how it does it um, here is the uh, the body of of your HTML page okay and then here is the background the background is yellow okay um, I actually have referenced out to the long, wrong uh, CSS file this is the different one but that's okay um, the one I have showing in the rendered web page I believe is gray so that's fine um, but if I change this color to yellow and then reference this particular file it will change the background to yellow this particular um, h1 tag reference here this is what controls it okay the font family that that's used the font size that's used so an h1 tag in other words is HT, uh, 18 point it's a red color uh, mine's navy blue so this is not the right file um, but it doesn't matter it's the same kind of uh, operation and it's a bold font weight okay so the h1 tag would be bolded the h2 tag would be bolded except the difference is the h2 tag since it's smaller would be 12 point not 18 point etc etc okay so if you've got any selections or options that would get control there as well all right so this has been a video uh, on php html programming uh, rendering what's called a web-based application that I demonstrated in the video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave comments, and have a nice day.